Hi there, change makers. Welcome back today. If you're new here, my name is Kira Siva. I am a spiritual mentor and healer, and I help change makers unlock their soul's potential. I am so stoked to have you here. These are some of my favorite readings. They are breakthrough readings. So today your reading is your breakthrough is here. Spirit's guidance on how it is happening. I love these because my specialty is helping you unlock your soul's potential and I know in my own life and in those that I serve, having breakthrough moments is exhilarating. It is that moment where we're like, finally, <laughs> the change I work so hard for is finally changing. Oh my God. So let's get into this. Go ahead and choose your pile. Pile number one pile number two and pile number three and sorry this is a little off the camera but pile number one is I don't know any of these names right now I think the blue one's blue calcite I forget what this is called maybe you leave me in a comment maybe you can leave me a comment below wow this is going to be an interesting reading because I already feel excited and jumbled up these are sacred lotus petals from a sacred ceremony. That's for pile number two. And pile number three is blue calcite. All right, so pick your pile and then go ahead and click the timestamps and jump to your pile. We're gonna get started with pile number one. Pile number one. I love this pile i love this pile this is so great i'm so excited to get in this with you all all right first thing is first i would say that there is a very nice color palette theme going on here um which i always i don't know about you but when i look at tarot cards the colors are always the first thing that stick out to me and it just gives it gives the vibe of the reading right so you've got a lot of this beautiful red orange duskiness along with this teal green and i think that is such a pretty color combination i love how it flows through the whole reading and it's even reflected down here in the tarot cards which is so cool i love I, it always kind of blows my mind when all of the reading colors really sync up nicely okay let's dive into this so your breakthrough is happening according to spirit through the cards by you learning a new skill so this is something that you have been learning you are still actively learning we see that here on the page of pentacles and by consistently applying it and consistently showing up taking bold action being the star, you are having the, that is your breakthrough. That can, I will tell you this, consistency is magic. Consistency is magic. It's not a routine, it's not boring, it is literal magic. So that consistency is one part of the breakthrough. You doing this new skill, second part of the breakthrough the third part is you taking these bold actions right like you have learned this skill and now you are applying it you are not only just mentally learning about it but you are taking physical action and friend you are the star you are the star look at this that's you that's you all of that hope all of that you know um desire to have the next steps that's you your crown chakra on sparkles right like you are doing so good you could be getting a lot of support if you are a star seed you could be getting a lot of support from your star family right now you could feel very very connected to the divine and really what this reading overall is saying is that this is it like you're doing it you have been taking these practical steps. You have been, been persevering for who knows how long, a long time. And now this is the end of the cycle, the end of the cycle. So if you want to speed up through this breakthrough, 
then continue showing up consistently. Continue learning about the new skill you're learning about and implementing the new skill you're learning about. So the more that you implement, the more times you put yourself out there, if you're doing videos, if you're you know, working on a business, if you're sending out job applications, if you are working towards your next promotion, if you are transforming your life, you're looking for new housing, you're looking for a new partner, the more time that you take this, this new skill that you have learned and you apply it again and again and again and again, in bold ways and confident ways and saying, hey, okay. And even if you make mistakes, it's okay. I make mistakes. You know, this is a new channel for me doing specifically tarot card readings. It's not perfect and that's okay. It's consistently showing up is, is the thing that is the breakthrough energy. Everything that you have been trying to manifest is coming in. It's coming in and it's coming in with packing a punch. It's coming in very quickly in a lot of ways. And the speed of that still is going to be dependent upon how much are you willing to show up consistently? How much are you willing to actually use the knowledge that you have? Because you have got it. You got it. And the breakthrough will also come through friends. It's also going to be supported by friends. It, you know, maybe you are meeting somebody through your friend. Maybe you are, maybe your friends just like you a whole bunch and they're sharing your content or they are telling people about your business or they are telling people, you know, at their jobs how much they love, have loved working with you or they are introducing you to their friends that they think you would be a great match for. They're telling you about where there's housing. Like, your friends are a big part of this, so make sure to just be present with them. Give them some love, give them a hug, you know, remind them that they are really special to you because the Otter Spirit is this beautiful heart. And having the love of friends is really such, such a huge gift. And somehow, some way, whether your friends are just supporting you or they are actively going out there and helping you find your dreams that they are also very important in your message today. So that's how your breakthrough, your breakthrough is here. You're doing great. And if you're already doing all of these things, just keep doing it because you're doing amazing. I'm super proud of you. All right, pile number one. This is Spirit's Guidance on how your breakthrough is happening right now. If you like this reading, remember to click the like button, click subscribe, share it with somebody that you love that could be getting something wonderful out of this. And if you are a change maker and you are ready to unlock your soul's potential and to really develop a deep relationship with spirit while also getting crystal clarity on your soul's mission and how to go make an impact on the world, check out the Soul Mastery membership. I am launching a beta version at the beginning of March and it's just going to keep growing from there. So if you see this before March, just know it's about to be released. And if it's after March, you will have the opportunity to join it. And I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is totally my message too. I love it. Um, so, all right, dear pile number one, until next time, I hope you have a beautiful and blessed all day. All right. Um, so let's dive into this. This is your breakthrough. Spirit wants you to know that your hard work is actually paying off and that your new beginning is assured. You just have needed this confirmation and that's probably why you came here today to know that yes, it is working. I can tell from this that you have put a lot of energy into manifesting something. You have put a lot of energy into the thing that you have been wanting a breakthrough from. So congratulations. Spirit is saying, good job on that. It is coming, it is currently on its way, and the best way to have a breakthrough, the thing that you need to do in order to let it come through is actually to take your, your foot off the gas pedal and you need to just rest. There is this concept um, that I learned when I was studying with an Indian saint about singing called bhajans. 
And the idea was that you built up the energy. You built it, 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 built it. And then you took a pause and you had a moment of silence and then you sang again. And I want you to think about this, these moments in life where people have pushed, 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 took a lot of action towards creating something sometimes within doing that if you don't take a pause it actually crashes everything you've worked for and i'm not saying this to like scare you i am telling you educating you on how you can look at the energy that you have created and built because you've done a really good job building the energy building the action building the purpose so you're at the peak right now of that breakthrough happening and the actual breakthrough itself isn't about taking massive pushy action it's actually about exhaling it's actually about releasing the tension right so you just need to take time out get a little quiet, look from a different perspective, take a moment to meditate. It's sort of like if you were to do a really hard workout, like it's okay to stop and drink some water, right? It's okay to stop and let your heart rate come down a little bit and to breathe, that's totally fine. So what, this is what you're doing energetically, right? You are getting your breakthrough by giving yourself um, a literal break this is also a great time to tend to the little things I equip like the equivalent of this is right now as you give yourself a moment to catch your breath before everything comes into manifestation for you this is the moment to tidy things up to clean up the energy channels to allow things clear pathways to come through so say you were getting ready to throw a giant party and you have hung up all the balloons and hung up all the streamers and you've got the cake out and you've got the food set out and all the trays but you've been leaving some of the trash around because you're on a tight schedule and your guests are going to be arriving soon this is the moment before people arrive where you just want to go around and pick up the trash you just want to go around and make sure that the chairs are you know aligned and look nice you want to make sure that the entrance way is open and you've moved the boxes and everything back to their appropriate place or in the recycling this is the moment if you're working with paperwork or you have a back-end system and you are launching something or you are preparing to start a new job or you are you know getting ready to take the next step in your endeavor you just want to dot your i's cross the t's tidy up your paperwork tidy up your living environment make sure you're drinking water like you just need to attend to the small things and i hope that was enough examples to illustrate the kind of mindset because sometimes we need to do that with our um, energy you know maybe you need to go clean out your energy a little bit maybe you need to just sit down and take some really deep breaths maybe you need to do some stretching maybe you need to attend to some things that you just haven't gotten to that's what the mouse spirit is about so <laughs> I, I like the party analogy because I feel like that's the easiest to understand and the most aligned like you have made a decadent party congratulations you are doing amazing that new thing that you're manifesting that's your party you've done it now before the guests arrive you need to go sit down for five minutes before you <laughs> are going to be on your feet for the rest of the night being a host or hostess um, and that's your meditation. That's the time to meditate, to see things from a different perspective, to bring yourself back to center, and, you know, tidy stuff up. Take your break and then tidy up. And just know, <laughs> I feel like you know that your manifestation is coming. Um, that's probably why you got the rebirth as assured. Like, you already know it's gonna happen. 
you just needed permission to sit down for five minutes. <laughs> you just, that's why you're here. You just needed permission to be like, it's okay. I did great. Nothing has to be perfect, okay? If you need perfection, just stop at that. But you can, you can, you know, clean up the little bits. Um, but really that's what I see for you, pile number two. I am super excited. And just remember your breakthrough, your permission, you get a permission slip, sit down, breathe, take five. You've done great. And then when you're done taking five, just tie things up a little bit. It's all coming together and congratulations. All right, pile number two, until next time, um, don't forget to click like on this video, subscribe and share it with somebody that you love that this could be helpful. And if you are a change maker um, and you would love to really help unlock the rest of your soul's potential, don't forget that I have a Soul Mastery membership that I am just opening at the beginning of March. And I would love it for you to come and check it out. Details are in the description box below. And until next time, I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day. Pile number three. All right, your breakthrough is here. And this is Spirit's Guidance on how it is happening. So we have the Death card and the Sun card. This is a big change you are your breakthrough is that you have been and you are and you will continuously be transforming so what i really see here is that your breakthrough is your literal personal transformation and allowing your soul to radiate more fully through you've been working so hard at something and i can tell by your reading that you are faith like you have faced some seriously challenging obstacles like there has been some thick and heavy things in your way and spirit's guidance here really is that this breakthrough is going to be happening with some mindset with some acknowledgement of your spirit team and some physical action so spirit wants you to know like the energy has been gaining momentum. You have been doing stellar and that personal transformation that's going to allow you to have your breakthrough is right here, right now. So let's dive into the three areas that you really need to focus on that are your literal breakthrough things. The first one is cleaning out the clutter. This is physical clutter in your life. This is overburdening yourself on having too many social engagements that you later regret even having. It is the clutter of putting everything else first. And I also get from this pile a very um, physical, like you, are, you have physical breakthroughs that you need to have. So the more that you clean out your environment and clean up the clutter, the more your breakthrough can act, is actually your breakthrough, and the more of that new life, that new transformation can come in. Sometimes when we keep physical objects in our house, they tie us down energetically, they tie us down mentally and emotionally, you know, there is something called visual clutter. It's visual noise and it can be overwhelming, especially when you're going through such a massive personal transformation. So this is the physical part. Like you need to really be mindful of who and what you're putting on your schedule. Do they really fill your life up with joy or are you seeing them because you feel obligated to or because, you know, like, that's just what you do at this time of year. I want you to be really, really protective of your time and of your schedule and your energy. And the next thing is start tackling that house clutter, whatever you got to clean up. And, you know, honestly, like the easiest way is just set a timer for five minutes and take out trash in, you know, in a closet. Set a timer for five minutes and grab you know, whatever you can in that five minutes to put in a bag to go to Goodwill. Like, take it very simply and you'll be able to break through that energy a lot faster. 
Now the rhino spirit, this is why I say like all of these things have this sort of heavy energy to them. Like I see how much hard work you've had to be doing. You are literally having to move heavy, blocky, stagnant energy and you're doing great. <laughs> you have a rhino spirit. So this is the mindset breakthrough. Right, we had our physical breakthrough, cleaning up the clutter, the mindset breakthrough that you are also having at this time is you can overcome any obstacle. This is part of this major glow up that you're going through right now. You are experiencing the shift of your mind saying, I can overcome any of these obstacles. I can do it. I can move it, I can go around it, I could get help moving it. Like there is nothing that has any possibility of standing in my way. And if you need a reminder, um, remember the rhino spirit. This is a heavy, muscular animal, right? Like a call in rhino spirit to be like, hey, move this for me. And rhino spirit will come and help you because your mindset, it's like before you saw these blocks and you were like, I don't know what to do. But as you clean out the clutter and as you have learned about more and as you've been going through this end of a cycle and becoming this new glowed up version of yourself, you're realizing that you actually, nothing can get in your way. Like you are a powerful, powerful manifester. You are a powerful soul you have what it takes to get through anything that life is currently trying to block you with. So that mindset shift, that understanding your power is that breakthrough. Now the third thing is having a breakthrough of belief. So, you know, we see this transformation happening. We see you have built the energy. You have your physical side, your mental side, and now your spiritual side is to say, spirit has your back. That is having that faith, that belief that, you know, you're sitting there realizing that you can overcome anything, knowing that your spirit team is cheering you on, is helping you out, is helping orchestrate things, is helping give you the energy, the strength, the courage, the clarity that you need to overcome the obstacles in your life is so huge. We need support in our lives. We are social creatures and we need the physical support of our loved ones around us and we also need to feel the spiritual support of our spirit guides, of our gurus, of our deceased loved ones. We need to know that spirit itself has our back, that the universe is working in our favor, and we need to be able to feel that and believe in that. It really, really, really helps navigating this stuff to be like, you know what? I am gonna take this down. I have a cheerleading team that's my spirit team. I am getting the strength and the courage and the knowledge and the clarity and the compassion that I need to break through this. That, all of that stuff combined that helps you really have such an amazing glow up, have such an amazing breakthrough. And I want you to remember that this is the breakthrough that's here right now. This is happening for you right now. So you probably already know that this is going on for you. You probably already said, yes, I know, Kira. I have been having a really hard time. The obstacles have seemed really huge. And you know what? I haven't given up for even an inch of a moment. I have rammed into them. I have ran over them. I have ran around them. I will not be defeated. And I know that my spirit team is behind me, helping me, and I'm going to make every effort possible to have clear space and clear channels to allow my soul to radiate its full beautiful potential. I'm really excited for you pile number three and that is what I see in your reading. If you like this reading don't forget to click the like button and subscribe and share it with somebody you love because it really helps the people out there and it really helps me grow the channel. 
And if you are a change maker, which you clearly are, because you're going through an amazing glow up right now, I am opening a beta version of the Soul Mastery membership that helps change makers really unlock their soul's potential and get the support they need. So not only will you feel connected and having clear communication with spirit and your spirit guides and your soul, but you will also be able to understand with great clarity what is the impact you're gonna have in the world? And then having the support of like, how do you even get that out there? If you're interested in that, check out the details in the description box. And until next time, I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day.